Haceme el favor de irme a cerrar el baño, Carla. No hay modo que me quede bien. No hay modo que me quede bien. No, no me queda de otra. No, no me puedo, no estoy más.
Good evening. Hi, Good evening. how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> nice, nice to hear that. Rosa. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, teacher. Great. That's good news. <laughs> good news. Okay, good. And today is, uh, we are starting the last week of class, girls. Oh my God. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel? Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, and I um, and I is um, difficult uh, diary. Okay. Yeah. But do you um, feel that you have learned something new? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> good. 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 Did you hear the song? Did you listen to the song that I shared? I shared a song on the chat. Uh, 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 song. Yeah, the uh, song. Listen, yes. listen song. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> can, can't you see it, Angeli? No, no teacher. You, you didn't receive it? Mm, no. Today or no i sent it on friday friday night after oh. the class yes after the class i sent it through the chat and um it you were supposed to listen to the song during the weekend to practice <laughs> yes to practice some questions okay because we are learning about the information questions and those are the questions that sometimes becomes more difficult, okay? When we want to speak or when we want to communicate something or investigate something with someone, then uh, we um, get locked like that because uh, those questions, information questions are the most um, tricky ones okay the most tricky ones that's why i sent the song for you to practice okay okay uh-huh the the song was okay i think i'm sending it now the song is why do you go why did you go why did you go mm -hmm. it's looking for a reason right he's looking for a reason i'm sending Again, the lyrics too. Okay. okay. I'm sending again the, the lyrics for those who didn't check them. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Leslie, Maria, Fernanda, Rita. Carlos Ernesto, how were you? Fine, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good. Hi, okay, good. Good evening. Look, guys, I have something to tell you tonight. Um, 
as a requirement from ANSAFOR, we need to have our um, our video cams on, okay? They need to see the person who is in front of the camera or, or in front of the computer, in front of the computer. So um, this is this is for policy, okay? <laughs> now you know that word, policy, okay? So uh, just let me do this reminder. Okay? Solo quiero recordarles, hacerle dos anuncios antes de entrar a tomar la lista. Eh, recuerden que de administración nos enviaron dos, oh, un, un mensaje en donde nos pedían eh, el apoyo, ¿verdad? El valioso apoyo de que no faltemos toda esta semana. Esta semana es la última semana. El día lunes 10 no tenemos clase por asueto, ¿verdad? Es una celebración preciosa, entonces la tenemos libre para que ustedes tengan su, su tiempo de celebrar. Ahora, um, es importante que no falten debido a que la, la nota final de ustedes se compone de la asistencia, de las tareas de la plataforma y de los exámenes de la plataforma. Entonces, eh, pónganle que ustedes sacaron 100, 100, 100, 100 en todo. Y en asistencia, pues, fu, no lo dan el porcentaje de asistencia, creo que es el 80%, no son aprobados. Entonces, eso es lo que me va a dar mi tristeza, les digo yo, cuando, eh, cuando ya, ya, te, ya le digo, María Fernanda, cuando al final se enteran de que, oh, la dejé, ¿por qué? Porque no me conecté tal día. Tal vez podía, aunque sea uno, una mitad del, de, de la clase, porque salí tarde, porque estaba en el tráfico, por lo que sea, y podía hacerlo, pero cuando llegué no me conecté, no cuenta. Entonces, es, me, va, me va a dar mucha tristeza, ¿verdad? El cupo de ustedes ya está eh, reservado para los que estén presentando esta semana, por favor, terminen de presentar los documentos para inscribirlos. Eh, no, no son directamente ustedes, sino que el encargado, el que está en comunicación, por favor, ustedes no dejen de insistirle a esta persona que tiene que enviar la documentación necesaria para que no queden fuera, ¿verdad? Porque es, es la única manera con la que se eh, reserva el cupo. Media vez, usted mete la documentación, se queda reservado el cupo, ya solo queda de parte de usted aprobar con la asistencia, las tareas y los exámenes. Ok, entonces entendido esto, we are going to start the class tonight. Ok, the first question, did you listen to the song that I shared on Friday? Last Friday. Did you listen to the song? To the song? The song? Yes, teacher. It was a very good song. <laughs> Aha, got you guys. Aha. Tenemos que ponerle un poquito de más empeño, ¿verdad? Porque esto se trata de práctica. We need to practice. We need to practice. Listening, speaking, writing, and reading. Okay, we need to listen, to speak, to write, and read. Okay, four skills, four skills. And this is very important. This is very important that you to practice with the exercises that your dear teacher shares you. Okay, <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, you didn't listen to the song, so we are gonna leave that activity for later. And let's start the class taking the attendance. Okay, there we go. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Not yet. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Present teacher. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. It's gone. 
Uh, Eleni, she's not now. Elvia y Anet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present teacher. Okay. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay, my dear students, we are going to start tonight with this. Let me share, please. Let me share. Someone is having trouble with, let me check. I'm having trouble, it says here. Okay. Someone is. Okay. Okay, my dears, here we are going to, I'll give you the instructions for this activity. Let me go because it's kind of slow tonight. Did anyone have trouble connecting to internet tonight? Did any one of you? No problems? Okay. No. Okay. The first thing we are going to do is. Esta es una actividad para rapidez. Okay. Para rapidez. No vamos a pensar mucho. We are not going to think too much. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos. Sorry. We are going to see the verb on the slide and we are going to say if it is regular or irregular. But at the same time, we are going to say the past simple tense of that verb. Someone is trying to communicate. Just uh, allow me one moment. Okay. Okay. Do you hear me like a robot, everyone? Anyone? Or do you hear me correctly? Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Okay. Okay. ¿O se oye cortado, chicos? No, no, teacher. Listen. Listen good. Okay. Now let's see. Okay, guys. Maybe there is a problem with your connection because the connectivity has been not so good, but let's see. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll give the instructions for this activity. Solo déjenme contestar la última pregunta. La última pregunta era de María Fernanda y me dice de que cuando finalizamos. Nuestra última fecha es el 11 de mayo, aquí en videoconferencia. Ya va a terminar. Exactamente, ya el martes. Ok, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Ajá. El lunes no vamos a tener conferencia. Pero el martes sí, ok. Monday, sí. we are not having meeting. Okay. Oh, ok. It's because of the rain in some places that the connectivity is not good. Ok. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Let's try to do our best with what we have, ok. Then, the instructions here. You are going to, to tell me the past simple tense of each verb that you see. And then you are going to give me one example, but fast, using this verb in past simple in a sentence. Do you get it? Do you get it? Let's do the first. What is the past simple for manage? Past simple for manage. Uh huh. Manage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, a sentence. A, a sentence using managed. Past simple tense. Yeah. Managed. Uh-huh. 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 One sentence using the past simple. It can be negative, it can be positive, it can be a question, whatever you want, but using managed. Okay. Uh-huh. I managed. I managed. The last meeting. Excellent. I managed the last, the last meeting. meeting. Okay, let's see. Good. So, next verb. Past tense of say. Hurry, hurry. Past tense of say. Anyone? Oh, yeah. Say. 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 Can you spell that for me, please? Oh. Yes. A. Mm -hmm. A. E. S. A. I. I. D. D. Correct. D. Now, a sentence using said. Uh huh. A sentence in past simple tense. Let's see. Anyway. One. Two. I am, I am sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I'm I, good. I, good, 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 good. I said good. I <laughs> it's hard for I'm me to sorry. say I'm sorry. Uh -huh. sorry. <laughs> great, great, great. Next, bye. Bye. Past tense of bye? But. Bye. Okay. I buy. I bought. Uh -huh. I bought. Uh -huh. um, the shoes. The shoes. <laughs> okay. I bought. Uh, I bought shoes. I bought shoes. Okay, there we go. So next one. Uh huh. Selling. Okay, but what is the past tense for sale? Mm -hmm. So. 
You sell, you selling um, so no is selling is so. Yes. <laughs> Past tense of sale. Remember that this is not regular, right? Excellent. You, Sold. You sold uh -huh. um, the 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 food. Okay, you sold the food. Excellent. Next one. Attend. Past tense of attend. 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 I want to hear everyone. Uh huh. The, a sentence. Um, you attend the store. Uh, you, yeah, but this is okay. Uh huh. You attended. A store. Doesn't give me the. Uh huh. A store or, or restaurant. Uh, you attended okay, the yeah. restaurant. Okay. Pero la idea aquí en esta oración quiere decir que esta persona, o sea, you, fue al restaurante o llegó al restaurante donde iban a hacer alguna cosa, ¿ok? No quiere decir que atendió. Como, no, como atendió, no. Ahí tendría que ser assisted, ¿ok? Assisted. Para nosotros es diferente, ¿ok? Teacher. Yes, uh, tell me. Maybe I attended the meeting. Good, excellent. I attended the meeting excellent next one next verb let's see mm -hmm. past tense game okay good and give me a sentence using the past simple tense i gave i gave you the report Okay. Excellent. Next. Past tense of that verb. Send. Send. Ah, someone say send it. Send it is not correct. Send. Send teacher. Yes. Send. Send. Can, can you spell that for me, please? It is e mm -hmm. n t. Uh -huh. Excellent. Now let's use the past simple, giving an example of a sentence. Okay. A sentence, guys. Teacher, yes, uh, maybe um, I send you the information yesterday. Okay, I sent you the information yesterday. Okay, good. Can you give me another example, anyone? Can anyone give me another example using sent? I sent the letter, teacher. I sent the letter, good. Uh huh. Okay, let's go to the next verb. Spend. Spend. Mm -hmm. What is the past simple form? Spent. Spent. Can you okay? Can you please spell that for me, please? I am. I am spending. Is the check? E, e. Excellent. 
Thank you very much, Elvia. Now, uh, you said something, Rosa? What did you say? I'm sorry. I, I understand uh, the money. Okay. Uh, we don't say I am. We say just I spent. Okay. I spent, I spent the money. There you go. Nice. Money. What else can we spend? What else can we spend, guys? S P E N D. Okay, what else? What else can you spend? Only money? A sentence, teacher. Okay. What else? What else? Uh what else can you spend? What else can you spend? Can you spend only money? Ah, a little uh, time. Teacher, spend, maybe time. I yes. Spend this, I um, spend a little time with my, my family. Salary. Good. Yes. Teacher. Uh-huh. I have a question with this verb. Tell me. When you talk about spend, mm -hmm. you can spend money, time. Or, mm -hmm. All different activities with yes. another people. Yes, of you course. Can use the same there. Yes, you can. You that's the meaning of that verb. That's um, the meaning of that verb. It's not okay. only gastar. It's um, pasar, right? It's something like that. Both okay. meanings. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you said something else. I spent all my salary. And what did you say? Someone said something about the salary. I spent all my salary. Is that okay? Teacher, if I said, um, mm -hmm. um, I spent the coffee, is correct? Um, spend the coffee, spend the coffee. Mm -hmm. Could be, uh, it, it depends, it depends on the context. In the, it depends on the context. Context. I think you will say I used all the coffee, mm -hmm. or I finished all the coffee, or I uh, made all the coffee. I mixed all the coffee. But usually spend. But yeah, it could be used, but in a very formal or polite way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, or for example, you spend something that there. It was there. Yes, you can say spend too. Mm -hmm. Just like the coffee, but it's better to use another verb for saying that. Okay. Okay. Next verb, guys. What is the past simple tense? Uh, uh, past simple form. Went. Good. Went. Okay. Can someone, can anyone give me a sentence as example? The supermarket. Another one, please. I went to the beach. Excellent. Another one, please. I went to the room. I went to the room. Okay. Something else? Any other? Teacher, maybe uh -huh. I went to, I went to quality department uh, this morning. Okay, good. I'm gonna move this a little over here. I went to the quality department this morning. Excellent. Excellent. You see, we can use went. Can you give me a negative example? An example using the negative form from the past simple tense? Mm -hmm. Someone is watching the TV. Let me. Uh, maybe uh -huh. did you go to go to the quality department this morning 
Okay. Ah, that's a, a question, but yes, it's a good example. Did you go to the oh. quality? Sorry. No problem. Quality department this morning. Okay, good. We transformed this into a question. Excellent. Now, let's imagine that this person couldn't uh, attend to that department this morning. So we could say, I didn't go. Remember that. I didn't go. Okay. To the quality department this morning. Okay, there we go. Next verb, guys. Next verb. Let's get ready. What is the past Cut. tense? Mm -hmm. Cut. Okay, can you spell that for me? H A D. Oh. Excellent. H A D. Perfect. There you go. I had a lot of time for that. Okay, excellent. I had a lot. Okay, another example. Can anyone give me another example as a sentence? I, am, I am have a dinner. I had. I had. I have a dinner. I had dinner in the afternoon. Okay. Oh, in the mo in the night. Okay. In well, let's say in the night will be tonight. tonight. I had dinner. Uh, let's let's help Rosa, okay? Let's help Rosa to enrich this to embellish this sentence, okay? I had dinner. Did you have dinner early or did you have dinner late? Uh, we could say early, okay? Early tonight, for example. Is it okay? Got it. Excellent. Elvia, can you give me another uh, example of a sentence using the past simple tense? Could it could it be negative, please? I didn't have. Mm -hmm. I didn't have. Um, meeting. I didn't have a meeting. Okay, good. I didn't have a meeting. Everybody agrees? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Now, next verb. What is the past simple tense for do? Past simple tense of do. Did. Did. Excellent. Did. Did. Now, can you please give me a sentence using did? I did, I did the full. I did the? The full. Um, okay, the food, it's better if we use, if we use uh, make instead of did. I did, did. I I did, did the homework. Excellent. Did the Which one, Rosa? I did. I did the cook. I did the Cooking, okay, cooking. there you go. I did the cooking, excellent. I did the cooking because it becomes into a noun. So we have to add ing to cook, okay? 
In this case, we use ing. I did the cooking. It means yo cociné, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. They, they didn't go to the school. Okay, we are using another verb. We are not using the verb did, okay? But let me, let me explain this. I didn't, I'm sorry, here. I didn't, no, they didn't go, you told me. Yes. They didn't go to school today. Uh, the verb go. Yes. The principal verb is go. Okay, okay, the main verb in this sentence is go. So we are okay. trying to use did as a main verb, okay? As the main okay. verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Maybe I feel um, maintenance equipment the last week no, uh, they not. They, um, i'm trying to to focus what you were trying to say i did uh, i did the maintenance the maintenance the maintenance uh, last week i did the maintenance okay yeah last week yes good Yes, because it's a noun. It's a noun. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't do report. I didn't. What will be the principal verb or the main verb in that sentence? It will be, I didn't what? I didn't. And we use this verb in the infinitive form. I didn't do. Okay. I didn't do. Uh -huh. Excellent. I didn't do the reports okay questions teacher e tell me uh, um don't worry just say it <laughs> el mismo verbo va dos veces excuse me el mismo verbo va dos veces en negativo y en Okay. Veamos aquí, veamos aquí la cuestión. La cuestión es que los dos verbos tienen una función diferente, ¿verdad? Cada verbo significa distinto acá. Aquí, por ejemplo, didn't no me significa ninguna acción, solo me está ayudando a negar. It's only helping to say no. Okay. ¿Y cuál es la acción? Auxiliar, teacher. Yes, it's like a helping verb or an auxiliary verb. So, what is the action? What is the action? The action is do. Hacer, right? The action is do. Por eso es que usamos los dos. No es porque vamos a repetir positivo y negativo. Eso no, no tendría que ver, lo que tiene que ver es la función de cada verbo, el significado en este caso, the meaning of each. Uh, for example, here didn't is no. No what? No do. Okay, no do. Correct? Okay. Okay. Next verb. Madre. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How do we pronounce that? M A B E. Excellent. You spelled that very good. So now, made. That's the pronunciation. Made. Have you read the tags or the labels on your on your clothes? They say made in and the place where they were made, right? So made in. <laughs> Remember that and associate that meaning. Make, made, and now a sentence, please. I made the parking today. 
<laughs> okay. Now I see that you love the the nouns in this case. Now let's see. I made the working. Okay. <laughs> okay. But usually we don't say that. Usually we say I worked. Okay. This I made the working. It means I worked. Okay. It's equals to I worked. So next example. Can you give me an, uh, another example, Rita? I made the dinner. Oh, excellent. I made dinner. Okay. Here we don't use that. We just say I made dinner. Okay. There you go. Nice. You see. Next verb. This is the next verb. Uh -huh. What is the past simple tense? Supervise. Okay, super. Uh huh. Bye. 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 Excellent. Supervised. Okay. Supervised. There you go. Now, can you, anyone give me a sentence using the past simple tense? I supervised all process yesterday. Good, good, good. Anyone has another example? I supervised the production. Excellent. Another one? I supervise the employees. Excellent. Supervised the employees. Good. There we are. Now, next verb. Store. Store. Uh huh. Store. Okay. Let's pronounce this correctly, and it will be stored. Stored. With stored. Stored. Okay. A sentence, please. Can anyone give me a sentence? Me, teacher. Okay. Okay. I stored the products in the warehouse. Excellent. The products in the warehouse. Good. Good, good, good. Hey, someone is watching TV. Can someone take care about that? Because it's interfering a little. Okay. Now let's see. Me teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I have I have a store for tomorrow. I I have uh -huh. food uh, store for tomorrow. Excellent. There you go. I have food stored for tomorrow. Excellent. Excellent. So let's go to another one. What is the past tense of this verb? Leave. Leave. Leave.
Mm -hmm. The past tense of leave. Teacher left. Excellent. Left. There you go. Left. Just the right. Uh, I'm sorry. As the opposite of right. Okay. As the opposite of right is left. They are different meanings and the same spelling or the same word, right? Left for live, past tense, and left for the opposite of right. Left hand, right? <laughs> okay. Next, uh, can I have a sentence as an example using the past tense of this verb? You can use negative. You can use questions too. Let's see someone is on the chat. I left my wallet at the office. Okay, excellent. I left my wallet. At the office. Someone else? A negative one. Can I have a negative sentence? Can I have a negative sentence? Maybe teacher. Mm -hmm. I didn't leave my jacket at the laundry. Okay, but in that case, just let me let me continue with this thing here because I'm having trouble with this. Okay, when you participate, you open your audio, please. Okay, and meanwhile, please. Um, disactivate your audio. So you said, I didn't, I didn't, uh huh. But you say left, right? I'm going to write it down like this. Okay. It's leave. Yes, correct. For, for the auxiliar. Okay, okay. Yes we use no we didn't and the main verb in the infinitive form so in this case is leave there you go i didn't leave my wallet at the office okay there you go and now the last the last one mm -hmm. what is the past tense for this verb Let's remember that in present, this is, instead of being B, uh -huh, it is um, um, is, and are, okay? B, we're talking about am, is are now what is the past simple form of b what is the past simple was was teacher was, was were, were excellent there you go now can i have a sentence using was a sentence using was I nope. was in the uh, kitchen. Okay, in the kitchen. Good. I was in the kitchen. Excellent. Now, an, a, a one example using where, please. One example using where. They were. 
in the movie, in the theater, theater. They were at, okay? Not in, in this case, they were at the movie theater. Oh, there you go. They were at the movie theater. They were at the movie theater, okay? Now that we have seen or remind all, all the past simple form of the verbs, I want you to, uh, you to answer a question. I want you to answer a question, okay? I told you that we were going to answer this question today again. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Let's remember, what did you do last weekend according to this picture? One sentence. I did read the book. Okay, let's remember that in affirmatives, we use... Do. No, we use the past simple form of the verb. Remember, I read a book. We don't say I did read. We say I read a book, okay? Uh, and the next picture, what do you see? What did you do last weekend? I went I to went. my family to the park. Okay, with my family. To the park. Okay. The best order will be uh, I went to the park with my family. Okay. Let's leave it like that. Next, uh, next picture. What did you do last weekend? I was working. Okay, but that's a different a different um, form of the verb, but it is okay. Uh, we're gonna write it down here and we're gonna take this in the count. I was working, okay. In a past simple tense, I just will say, I had to work, okay? Or I worked. We could use, I went to the office because it's an office, okay? There are a lot of ways to say the same thing that you said, okay? But in a past simple tense, okay? Correct? Now, what about this picture? What did you do last weekend? Teacher, maybe yes? I went the theater this morning. Okay, but we're talking about last weekend, okay? So we're gonna say I went to the theater last weekend, okay? Is that okay with you? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, with the last one, what did you do last weekend? This picture. I went to the Tunco Beach. Excellent. That's the I attitude. I went to the Tunco, Tunco Beach. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. And what did you do there? What did you do there? Who did you go with? Okay, who did you go with? With my friends. Excellent. Excellent. So you see, we know that when we ask information questions using the past simple tense, we are going to use the past simple 
form of the verb, okay? Imagine, imagine that you didn't go. Then what are you going to use instead of went? Okay, I didn't go to the Tunco Beach. I went to the to La Costa del Sol, right? So you see, we use did in the question, but we don't use did in the answer, correct? Get it? Is it okay, my dear students? Yes. Okay, people, here we are. Now we are going to continue with this vocabulary practice. This is a vocabulary practice today. In this video conference, we are going to practice. So let's go to our manuals, okay? Let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have our vocabulary practice in this page. Sorry, yeah, three, there you go, there you go, that's B. Here we are, page 37. Do you see? Page 37, page 37. In this vocabulary practice, what do we have to do? We have to complete these words or phrases, okay? We have to complete with the letters missing. What is this about? Do you remember the process of the activities that a customer does and a customer representative um, does too? So they have different activities to do. So let's complete this information here. Can you give me number one? What letters are missing here? Pick up. Excellent. So can we spell this? P-I? P-I-C-K. Okay, thank you. And the next one? Next one, next word in that box. Shoe. Do you remember the first, the first page of unit three? Do you remember the first page of unit three? Aha, uh -huh. here. These are the phrases that we are completing, this. It, they are in page 29, okay? Page 29 in this box. Do you see? These are the activities that a customer does when he goes to a store and the activities that a customer representative does too when, a custom, when he has to assist a customer. Okay, now let's go again to page 37. And let's complete these phrases, okay? You said pick up the phone. Excellent. So let's spell it. P-H-O-N-E. Okay? Yes. I didn't hear you. Can you please <laughs> spell those words? Spell the phone. Yes. What are the the missing letters? By e p h o n e. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What is the activity here? It says write the missing letters to complete the words. Okay. This is what we are doing. Write the missing letters to complete the word. So when I ask, you are going to tell me the letters that are missing. That is why I ask you for a spelling thing, okay? Number two, number two, what word can it be? C-A-L-L. -L. Uh, number two, number two is this one. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Um, B U Y. Excellent. Excellent. And the number three already said it, right? Let's see. And number three, it is Angeli, you said spell, right? No. C A L L. Uh, but that's like this. What you said, S A letter C. E. Okay, S. No, letter C. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Yes. A L L. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, number two was that, and number one. Aha. Uh -huh. Next, number four. Number four. Good. Mm -hmm. G. 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 Excellent. Mm -hmm. E-R-I-C-E-S. Okay, now that we are tuned. Number five. C-O-M-P-L-A-E-A. I am. I got lost. C O M P L P L. I don't know if you say P or T. P L. A, A, I, M, M, N, M. Okay, complain, good. Number five, guys, number five. E, X, B, mm -hmm. L, a I N. Excellent. Now, number seven. Number seven. H E L P. I Excellent. know. Oh, yes. Yes, I think that's correct. Number eight. A. Mm -hmm. S. S. I. S. P. Okay. There you go. There you go. Nice. Number nine. Number nine. R. E. C. E. E. R. I B mm -hmm. B I B mm -hmm. E E okay receive receive mm -hmm. okay number ten U N mm -hmm. D E R S 
T A N D. Okay, good. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. E a uh -huh. O B B I Okay, this is the situation. I'm just writing what you are saying, okay? You say first P, or did you say T? V, V, V. Okay, V, you see? V, v. that's different, okay. Mm -hmm. V. Mm -hmm. Okay. V, D, E. Excellent. O, uh -huh. M, E, F. Okay. Anyone else who wants to help? I, N, F, O, R, M A T I O N. Okay, provide one's information. Excellent, excellent. There you go. Number 12. What do you think about number 12? Uh, E, Q. Q? Mm -hmm. Q, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. U, U E. <laughs> e, S, T. Okay. I, N, F, O, R, M, A, T, I, O, N. Okay, there you go. There you go. You see, we need to practice the spelling, right? The spelling, and it's very nice because uh, you learn the sound and you learn the name of each letter, okay? But let's see, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, everyone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Bye. 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 Paul. Oh. Get prices. Get, get prices. prices. Explain. 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 Complain. Explain. Complain. Complain. Help. Complain. Help. 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 Assist. Help. Assist. 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 Receive. 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 Understand. Understand. Provide one's information. Provide information. Request information. Request information. There you go. We finished this activity. You see, it was very easy, right? Was it? Was it? Was that easy? Yes, right. Just to remember, just to remember the vocabulary. Now, I want you to, well, I, I want to take you to another question, okay? This question 
has a very different way to be answered, okay? Do you remember that in, on Friday we said that we use information questions using the information WH words? For example, we say what, why, where, and how. We say also when. So what is the way to answer this question? How did you like our product? How did you like our product? Esta es una frase completa, ¿ok? La frase completa está dado con how do you like? How did you like? ¿Ok? How did you like? How did you like? Siempre que vean esto, always that you see this, you are going to answer probably not with did. Así como me decía Francisco. Francisco me decía, ¿y voy a contestar otra vez con did o puedo contestar con otro verbo? You can use your own answer in this case. What they are asking is your satisfaction of something or the measure of uh, your likes about that product or about something, okay? For example, how did you like our product? It means... ¿Cuánto te gustó o cómo te gustó este producto? O sea, que me describa cuál es la satisfacción que tiene, eh, cuál es, que describa el gusto, ¿ok? Que describa cómo le gustó. So, the answer could be, we are going to use the past tense because here we have past tense, ¿ok? And not getting more confused. We are going to say this, for example. How do you like our product? This is looking for satisfaction or dissatisfaction of a customer, right? Using a product. For example, we have some adjectives that we can use when we answer this question. For example, high quality, suitable, fine, good, premium, unique, but that's in a good way or for a good product. What if the product was not so good? Then we use these other adjectives like low quality, half pie, poor, overpriced. Uh, we're gonna use this, I'm sorry. There is a little mistake here, okay? Overpriced, bad, disappointing. Or cheap. These are some adjectives for you to express dissatisfaction about a product. And these are some adjectives that, uh, that you can use when you are expressing that you are satisfied with that product. Now, let's see how we are going to answer this. How did you like our product? Okay, we are going to say, for example, describing the product and the satisfaction we had, for example, Okay, it was fine, for example. Okay, how did you like our product? Oh, it was fine, right? How did you like uh, our product? For example, for example, we say, how did you like the donuts? If they gave you a sample of donuts, for example. Okay, how did you like the donuts? Oh, they, because the donuts, right? They, uh, we could say they were excellent. You see, they were excellent. We could so we could say also I loved, I loved them. Okay, I loved them. They were so delicious. Okay, you can describe about your experience with that product. Okay. It's not necessary that you are going to say, I did, okay, or I didn't, correct. So, for example, I'm going to ask a question. How, okay, first question. What did you do last weekend, uh, Francisco? What did you do last weekend?
we can't hear you, Francisco. Hello, teacher. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, uh, repeat me, please, the question. Uh, what did you do last weekend? Okay, uh, I, I went to my job. Okay, to my job. Okay. I'm going to ask another question. Um, where did you have lunch? Where did you have lunch? When you were in um, your job? Um, Where did you have lunch? Um, the place. Um, the place. Mm -hmm. Where? Es que en nosotros en el trabajo lo conocemos como búngaro de descanso, no sé cómo se dirá en inglés. Oh, interesting. The cafeteria? Cafeteria? Mm -hmm. So, so. Okay, the rest <laughs> bungalow. Eh, búngaro es, es, uh, uh, is a place uh, uh, next to the office. Uh, okay. At uh, the... Uh, bungalow. Uh huh. Uh, uh, rest, rest bungalow. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. How did you like your lunch? Okay. How did you like your lunch? Remember the kind of answers? How did... Mm. No teacher. <laughs> I... uh -huh. Okay. The idea here, o la idea aquí, es que esta es una frase completa. Okay? Mm -hmm. Siempre que les pregunten esto... Siempre que, ay, perdón, que esto me está molestando. Ok, siempre que les pregunten esto, esto es una frase completa. Lo que pasa es que el viernes tuvimos esta situación, por eso la estoy aclarando ahora. Ok, me decían, ¿y con how qué voy a poner? Y hacían este tipo de preguntas. Ok, Hi, how did you like? Entonces, cuando hacen esta pregunta... Esta es una frase completa que me está indicando, me están requiriendo que yo diga eh, o describa cómo fue mi experiencia con eso que me están preguntando. ¿Ok? Si fue buena, si fue mala, si fue satisfactoria, si está bonito, si está feo, o si no me gustó, o si estaba horrible, right? So, this is what we are doing uh, right now. We are trying to understand your activity on the last weekend. ¿Ok? to do this follow-up question because how did you like your lunch, for example, at the rest bungalow, right? Or how did you like your the rest bungalow, right? Teacher, so, uh, uh, I, uh -huh. I, I understand uh, um, como, como estuvo tu almuerzo. Yes, yes, kind of, kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was very good. <laughs> okay, the lunch, the, or the, lunch. the time, or the time. So it, it, we could say, it was very good. You see? It was very Thank good. You. It means that you are satisfied with your lunch time, okay? It means that you were satisfied with your lunch time. What if, it, what if I say, for example, Oh, it was horrible. Okay, it was horrible. You didn't have a good time, right? So this is what we are uh, trying to understand, understand at the moment. Okay, 
entendido aquí. Esto es un tema mucho más adelante, pero necesitaba aclararlo porque había algunas cuestiones que se habían dado a la hora de hacer las question, uh, perdón, las information questions el viernes, ¿ok? Para que les quede claro, cuando utilizamos how y ponemos how did you like, esa es una expresión completa, ¿ok? Y que tiene una manera de entenderse. ¿Cuál es la manera de entenderse? Esta. Usted va a describir la experiencia, va a describir si le gustó, si no le gustó, si estaba bueno, si estaba malo, si estaba feo, grande, pequeño, lo que sea. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question about this? I don't have a question, teacher. Ok, great. Good. Thank you very much, Edward. Can we continue with this vocabulary practice? Okay, let's go to our manuals now. Okay, there we are. In our manuals, we have the second activity. The second activity has the instructions there, similar of what we did right now. Okay, write adjectives to show a customer's satisfaction and dissatisfaction about a product. Write adjectives to show a customer's satisfaction and dissatisfaction about a product. Okay. Can you give me these adjectives for satisfaction or for, for dissatisfaction? Who wants to start? Who wants to start? Let's go back. Let's go back here. Do you remember this email? Do you remember this email? Yes, teacher. Okay, then it says that it was a bad experience. Ah, so here we have an adjective, right? Bad bad that's a dissatisfaction right bad what is the opposite of bad what good. is the okay then and satisfaction good. we can write good okay mm -hmm. we can write good and bad good experience bad experience right satisfaction good What about the customer experience? How does he feel as a person? We could say, well, fine, correct? Those, premium. excuse me? Premium, teacher. Premium, yes, premium. Mm -hmm. What else? For satisfaction. Excellent. Excellent, good. Tell me something about dissatisfaction. Any adjective? We said bad. Uh -huh. Then? Mm -hmm. For dissatisfaction. Bad quality. Yes, bad quality. So it could be low quality, right? Bad quality, low quality, and poor quality. Yeah, poor quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, quality, Maria Fernanda. It could be high for satisfaction, low for dissatisfaction. Okay, so let's continue let's continue and let's see the other activity that we've got there the next activity is that you have to transform the negative sentences into positive ones okay let's see this let's transform the negative sem sentences into positive ones number one 
Can you please read number one, Elvia? He didn't buy that computer. Computer, okay. Computer. Good. Um, Carlos, Antonio, por favor. Uh, por favor. Okay, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> please, por favor. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm kind of... Porfa, please. Porfa, please. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, nice. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, Carlos Antonio, can you give me the, the, the positive? Excuse me? The, the, the first. The first. Aha, uh -huh, tell me. Okay. She did buy that computer. Uh, is that okay? Sure. Uh, she she buy that computer. She bought. She bought, oh. she bought that computer. Correct. She no, okay. bought they okay. that computer. Remember that. For positive, we use the past simple tense or the past simple form of the verb. For negative, we use didn't and the infinitive of the verb. Excellent. Number two. Can you read number two, Edward, please? Read, read the sentence, a negative one. We didn't bring the package. Ah, uh, perdón, sorry. We didn't <laughs> okay, bring that, that. Karma, karma, that was karma. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We, we uh -huh. didn't bring, we didn't bring that package. Okay. Uh, Silvia, please, positive one. Mm, we brought that package. Okay. Okay, next, next one. Fausto, please, can you read number three? The client didn't call yesterday. Excellent, thank you. Carla, please, the positive one. The client called yesterday. Thank you. Number four, please. Can, um, number four. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Angeli, please. The employees didn't read the email. Okay, thank you. So what will be the positive one? Maria Fernanda. The employees uh, read the email. Red, red. Remember the pronunciation and past simple will be red. Okay. The email. Excellent. Next one, number five. Walter, please, can you read the negative one? Oh, books didn't. Come on about last week. Thank you. Now let's see. Leslie, can you give me the positive one, please? Our boss come back the last week. Our boss? Our boss come back last week. Come or is there uh, an... uh, uh, ¿cómo sería? What would it be? Past simple tense. Look it up, look, look it up. Can anyone help? Oh. Came, teacher. Yes, came. came. Good. Came back last week we go next one number six carlos can you read the negative one please okay they didn't cancel the meeting they didn't can cancel 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 okay uh is there carlos rogel is there is there carlos rogel not right 
Okay, then let's see. Wilfredo. Wilfredo is not there either. So let's see. Rosa, can you give me please the positive one? They didn't cancel the mirroring. Okay, now in positive? In positive is they, they does, they does, uh, they, no, they just, no, they past simple do. tense. Remember, what is the past for of cancel? The uh, past form of cancel. They. Uh huh. They the, They can cancel. Uh -huh. The hearing. Okay, excellent. They, they canceled, canceled the hearing. The canceled meeting. The Mm -hmm. Okay, next one, number seven, Carla, please, negative. Carla Marielos? Can you... Okay, no problem. Can you read, please, number seven, the negative one? The la lady didn't want to complain. Okay, now Elvia, positive one, please. The lady wants to complain. Excellent. There you go. Number eight, let's see, this is the last one. Um, Rita, can you read negative, please? I didn't send the refund to this email. Okay, I didn't send the refund, the refund to this email. Now let's see, Walter, can you give me the positive one, please? I didn't, excuse mm -hmm. me, excuse me. I sent the uh -huh. refund to this email. Okay, excellent. There you go. So now we are going to continue with this activity because we are in a practice and you have to form some information questions. Do you remember how to create them? We use WH words, we use the auxiliary verb did and the verb in the infinitive way. Is that correct? Everyone agrees here? Todos en sintonía? Everybody tuned? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, then I'm going to ask you to work in pairs, okay? Uh, let me send the invitations right now. Okay, there you are. Teacher, yo sin querer le di cancelar al room. Okay, just let me check. But it says that you haven't. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Doesn't allow me to do that. One sec. I'm going to move you to another room. Okay. And there we are.
They ask the question. I'm writing the answer. Tisha. Hi. Uh, A typical Monday, question, right? <laughs> the question uh, with WH or? Yes. Information questions means that you have to use WH words. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, uh, number one question, uh, for example, what do you work? What do you? Work. Answer. Okay, but in this case, remember, remember that we are with the uh, past tense. So we are using the past tense. Now, let me see here. The main verb is do. The main verb is do. So for example, you will say, what did you do? Right? For example, do is the main verb. Correct? So, or for example, um, when did you do something, okay? It's not that do is the auxiliary. And the one you said, you said, what, where do you work, right? Where do you work? It's present, present. What did you do work? Uh, no. No, no. In this case, it's not possible to say that in this activity. Let's change it. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, exactly, exactly. For example, what the one. Uh huh. What did you do work? Uh, no. No, porque ya ahí ya no tiene nada que ver este work. Porque el, el verbo principal o the main verb is do. ¿Ok? Entonces, lo importante es preguntar esta acción. ¿Ok? The important thing here is to ask do. Now, let me, let me share my screen here. What did you do yesterday? No. Uh -huh. There we are. Yes. Uh -huh. If we use what, right? Uh, what? Yes. What do you do? Do is the main verb. Yes. You get it? Yes. Okay. Now you have to give an answer, right? You have to give an answer. What did you do yesterday, Fausto? What did you do yesterday, Rita? Then you give the answers. Okay? Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I went. Or, or I did go. No, no, I went. That's correct. I, I went. went. I went to the lake. To the lake, yes. Good. I went to the lake. I went to see a soccer game. Excellent. Now think about number two. The verb, it, you have to use the verb go, okay? Now let me go to another group and try to continue, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Okay.
Thank you. Hmm. What did you buy last week? Where did you buy last week? Okay. Mm. What do you? What did you buy? What did you buy last week, Elvia? If you buy something like shoes, clothes, or food. Hmm? Um, I buy. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher. A teacher, okay. But you have to, to say um, the verb buy in past. I bought. I bought. Mm -hmm. I bought a t-shirt. T-shirt. And what more? Only a t-shirt. I hear. And I hear. Ah, a pair of high heels. Okay, now number four, Hello. work. Yes. Where do you work? Mm. But in past. But we have to make a sentence in past. Hmm. This could be, where did you work, teacher? Where do you work in? No, you could say, where did you work? Where did you work? Did? Where did you work? Mm -hmm. Where did? Mm -hmm. uh, where did you work? Okay. I work in a store. Uh, one year ago. Okay. okay, where did you work? And the answer, I worked in a store one year ago. Okay. Okay, keep working girls. You are doing a good job. So I'm going to another group, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. See you. Where did you go last week? La, last week. Uh -huh. las, la semana pasada. Uh -huh. Yes, last week. Wait. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Where are you going yeah. to do this? Last week. Okay, okay. last week. Uh huh. Um. I. I go. Past tense. Well, pero. I go. Te lo vamos a usar en tiempo. Ah, no. El va a ser I went. Yes, correct. I went. Hey, yes. I went. Entonces lo vamos a hacer por la, la pregunta de a question. Podría ser I went. I went. I went. Visit my family. Okay, I went to visit or I visited. I went to, okay, I went, I went to visit uh -huh. my family. To visit 
My family. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. My family. Okay, guys, you're doing and a good answer. job. So I'm going to another group, okay? Keep working. Okay, Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello. How was the activity? Very good. Okay, did you finish? Yes, practice uh, many times. <laughs> okay, yeah, because we are uh, practicing the information questions, the confirmation questions, yes or no answers. And we are also practicing the past simple uh, form of the verb and the negative form in the past tense. So yes, is the whole past simple, right? So I'm going to provide you with, because we have around 10 minutes. ¿Estaría bien si nos pasamos unos minutitos para hacer la última actividad? Little minutes, some minutes. Uh, no nos vamos a pasar mucho. Solo unos no problem, teacher. Okay. For me. Don't worry, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Because this is a I game. Learn, okay. This is a game. Let's continue. From quizzes. <laughs> Do you remember quizzes? So let me get the yeah, link. Teacher. Okay. Let me get the code for you because uh, we have to do it at the same time we do this. Okay. Now, this, this. Okay. Just one second. This is like a test, but this is a test just to study or just to uh, make a review, okay? We're gonna do a little review. A, they are only 20 questions. You have different kind of questions. You have these questions that have only one answer correct, and you have these other questions that uh, you have to check on the on the correct answers, but it has to be all of them, all of the correct answers, okay? If you mark only one, then you are not going to pass. So you have to mark all the correct answers for it to let you go to the next question. Okay, then to play this um, test, let's see, this is, this is kind of a trivia. Go to Google, please, and write in the Google search, joinmyquiz.com. I'm going to write it down on the chat for you to remember that, joinmyquiz.com. Are you there already? No way, letter Z. There you go joinmyquiz.com and the code i'm going to give you the code the code is 800118 okay the code is Eight zero zero one one eight. Oh, sorry, Maria Fernanda. Let's try. Let's let's give a try. Okay. Eight eight zero zero teacher. One one eight. Excuse me. One one eight. eight. You have it on the chat too. Uh, 
Okay, I have four of you, Elvia, good. Then I have Rita, Francisco, Silvia, Edward, Carlos Antonio, Fausto, Carlos Rogel, No, no, no. Teacher, can you... Excuse me? Uh, the... Code... El código, ¿cuál era? 800? 118. Okay. Leslie, dale en empezar para entrar al room. Ok. 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 Everybody ready? Let's see, I have 10 of you. Gracias, Fausto. Ok. Leslie in. Are you in, Wilfredo? Yeah. I don't see you. Rita, Edward, Carlos. No, I don't have yours. Which I'm sorry, we're going to have to check the, the code. 800118. Go to the chat. Go to the chat and zoom, and I wrote it there. Yes, eight zero zero one one eight. Yes, that is. Okay, then, Wilfredo, you are missing. I think you are the only one who's missing but here. I I wrote I wrote the code teacher in the chat. Mm. So what see. I have to do to enter the no meeting. Um. You introduced the code and then did you uh, click on enter? Yeah. Okay. And what do you see? I only text the code. You need to write your name. Okay. Then I text my uh, the call. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you are in uh in the wrong place. You have to go in your cell phone. You have to go to the Google search. Okay, go to the Google search and write joinmyquiz.com in the search box. In Google. Mm-hmm. And in the Google search, you're gonna yeah. write join my quiz. Join my quiz. Dot com. Okay. I'm sorry, teacher. I uh, join my quiz. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. 
Okay. Enjoy my, my quiz. It, it says introduce a code. O unirse al juego. Then you type in 800118. Okay. Zero zero eight two. Rosa, thank you. Eight zero zero one one eight, Wilfred. Yes, I know the I know the play, but I did, did you type know. in your name? Um, before introduce the code. Okay, you wrote your name. Before the the code. No, no, no. Just write the code eight zero zero one one eight. Yes. After? Mm -hmm. Dele enter. Okay. Okay. Empezar. Start. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you are. So let's start now, guys. Let's start now. It doesn't live. Okay. There we are. And there it is. Teacher, estoy adentro ahí del juego. Uh -huh. Ajá. Someone... practice units. Yes. Okay. Vocabulary practice unit two and three. I think it, it says on the unit two, but it was unit two and three. Unit two, module four. Okay, but it includes two and three. Couldn't you in, Edward? Um, I, I have to go to resume up, up them, attempt, uh -huh. start over. Oh, okay. So you had to start. Okay, start. Um, yes, uh, click on the start over. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Re attempt attempt. Okay. Re attempt. Mm -hmm. Re attempt. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't see you here yet. Could you get in? Thank you. 
Very good, Rita. Excellent, Fausto. You are doing great, Carlos Antonio. Very good, Silvia. Now is Silvia on the head. Good. Very good, Maria Fernanda, you're going up. Very good. Okay, I think Sylvia finished. Almost done, Rita, very good. Okay, I think everyone is done, right?
No, we have Edward. Angeli and Rosa. Okay, how was the activity? Was it good? Do you have questions? Very good, teacher. Okay. Very good, teacher. Okay. No questions? About the game? Mm -hmm. About the activity, because uh, we are in the vocabulary practice. So if you want to ask me something about the, the game, because the game is vocabulary practice, okay? That's why I'm asking to you if you have questions. <laughs> okay. It's good, teacher. It is good to, to yes. learn. And <laughs> we, have to, we have to improve our ability. Yes, we to have to. Yes, you're to right. Quickly. Okay, okay, I understand. Well, guys, class dismissed and turn the turn for the assessment today is for Rosa. Okay, do you want to stay? Hey. Rosa, are you staying yeah. with Hi. me? Hi. Okay, Hi. okay, goodbye, everybody, and have a good night. And Rosa stays with me. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye, See you tomorrow. Okay. See you. See you. Hagan Good la night. tarea, yeah. por favor. Hagan las tareas, okay? Okay. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Okay, bye. The number for today, teacher. Excuse me? What is the number for today? The, the homework? Uh, it is number 15. They said that they already... Um, checked uh, about the problem they they solved it but i i tried to, today i couldn't but i think that at this time it is okay okay thank you okay there you go okay bye bye angeli bye bye carlos ernesto now rosa stays with me okay Okay, Rosa, here we are. I'm all ears. Okay. Um, I understand the um, formula, formula uh, the, the questions. Uh, difficult <laughs> okay yes that's yes. the most that's the most difficult part to uh, formulate the questions yes you're right what kind of questions are the most difficult for you um it uh, different birds uh, uh, one is uh, uh, different birds Using the hidden birds, and uh, I mm -hmm. confuse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start. Let's start for saying that when we are going to ask or request for information, we use the WH words, right? For example, if I want information about a place, then I use where. We say that, right? Now, to ask in the past simple tense, I use these, okay? I use this word, did, because that makes the verb um, past, 
Okay. So for example, I always, I always, when I request information about a place, for example, I use where. Then in the past tense, I use did. Mm -hmm. Then I have to ask about a person or the subject in this case, right? So we could say, where did the subject could be Rosa, okay? Where did Rosa? But here we use the infinitive form of the verb, okay? The infinitive form of the verb. It will be, where, where did Rosa go, okay? Where did Rosa go? on weekends, okay? Where did Rosa go on weekends? I'm sorry, uh, let's say last weekend. It's better last, last weekend. There you go, I'm sorry. It is, where did Rosa go last weekend? Mm. To answer, to answer, we are going to use the past simple of the verb. In this case, the verb is go, okay? The verb is go. So oh. we are going to answer saying, a Rosa went to the beach, for example. What oh. is the, pl the place? The place is the beach. There you mm -hmm. go. Where? The beach. Did go will be went. Okay. Is this correct for you? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, ¿tiene alguna pregunta en específico acerca de, de las, de, de esto, de este tema? But, sí, es, eh... Eh, lo que sucede, vaya, eh, a veces yo estoy eh, entiendo bien el tema, pero de repente cuando ya este, hay que hacerlo eh, diferente eh, para poderlo, o sea, hacer la, eh, hacer la pregunta y luego la respuesta y a veces ahí hay una confusión que, que se okay. encuentra uno. Ahí. Pensemos una cosa que usted me quisiera preguntar a mí, ¿ok? del uh -huh. pasado, eh, usando el pasado. Usando eh, el pasado. Ajá. Ejemplo. Una cosa que usted quiera saber, que yo, yo tengo la información. Entonces, ¿cómo me preguntaría usted? ¿Qué es lo que quiere saber? ¿Ok? Cualquier cosa que se le venga a la mente. Ok. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue de compras? Yeah. Ok. <laughs> so, that's in <laughs> Spanish. Yeah, okay. eh, ajá. Ajá, bye. In Spanish, we use WH words as cuando, right? Cuando mm -hmm. is when, 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 right? Okay. When, when mm -hmm. did buy, buy, buy? When did you? You buy? Mm -hmm. buy. No, no. In this case, buy. remember buy. that for buy. questions. Uh -huh. Yes. Boy. Boy. When did you buy? Okay. Um, para responder. Bye. Mire, la pregunta que usted me acaba de hacer, no la hemos estudiado todavía, pero le voy a decir acá. When did you last? When did you last? Es una expresión para decir lo que usted me acaba de decir. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tú? Ah, ok. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, usamos esta frase. Esta frase siempre la va a ver juntita para cuando alguien quiere saber cuándo fue la última vez que tú. Uh -huh. Ok. When did you last? When yeah. did you last? Eso nunca va a cambiar porque es como una expresión. Ok. Ok. Entonces, when did you last? Pero en este caso, todavía no hemos llegado a ese tema. Ok. Pero... Uh -huh. Podríamos utilizarlo, ¿verdad? We could use that. When did you, uh, let's say, last buy? Uh -huh. When did you last buy a, you, you told shirt. me. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que compró? ¿Qué me dijo en español? Eh, 
cuándo fue la última vez que fue de compras. Oh, Pero, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces sí sería diferente. When did you last go shopping? Uh -huh. Ok. You see, it's, it's um, make it simple, ok. Trate siempre de hacerlo simple. Siempre es simple. Cuando usted sienta que está grande y no lo puede destrabar, entonces usted venga y empiece. Ok, empecemos por el principio, for the beginning. What is the beginning? The WH word. What word? Dependiendo qué es lo que me están preguntando o qué quiero yo saber. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Then, if I want to request information about a place, I use where. If I want information about time, then I use when. If I want information about a person, I use who, okay? For example, here we're, here, here we're gonna say, who did you talk to, um, who did you talk to about the, about the, mm, Promotion, okay? We're talking about promotion is, no promoción, sino que promoción de alguien en su trabajo, okay? Que lo promovieron, okay. he was promoted, okay? So, who did you talk to about the promotion? A quien le, esto siempre va a ser a quien le. Who did you, a quien le, okay? Who did you talk to about the promotion? Entonces, volviendo a lo simple. WH word. Did. To make it past. The subject. And the verb and infinitive. And then the complement. Then you say whatever you want to say. About the thing. Okay. Now. Do you want to give me an example? Of a question? Yeah. What do you want to know, for example? Oh. 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 Where, where, where the working, where did you working? Uh, remember, work, work. work. Okay, work. Siempre acuérdense que vamos a utilizar el infinitivo, ¿verdad? El infinitivo del verbo, ¿ok? Where did you work? Where did you work? I worked at... Uh, esta es una respuesta que dio ahora alguien aquí en la clase. I worked at, at a store one year ago. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Now... Another example. Can you give me another example of question? Yeah, why, why did you study? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Why did you study? Uh, why did you study and then you say the career why did you study mathematics is that correct okay okay <laughs> <laughs> why did you study english okay english, english. Mm -hmm. okay why did you study communications why did you study business administration? Why did you study? So you're talking about a field, right? Why did you study English? English? Now, we have to give a reason. The way to answer will be always when they say why, because. Okay, because. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, because. Why did you study English? Uh, because uh, uh, B, B, or B, mejor. Uh, uh, so I want, 
because I want uh, I want to speak uh, I, I want to speak <laughs> Because I want to speak. Because. Uh, I want to speak. Okay, fluently, we could say, right? Fluently. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, because I want to speak fluently. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Do you have any um, other question at the moment? Or are we okay with this? Yeah. I think uh -huh. uh, more, more claridad. <laughs> okay, clear, clear. Thank clear. you. Okay. Excellent, Rosa. Believe me, I admire you because um, you do your best effort. I have seen you and you are doing your best effort. So congratulations for that. And keep up, keep up doing this. You are going to master the this kind of questions, just making questions, okay? Using the vocabulary that you have at the moment. And at the moment, you know, WH words, did, and the verb. I'm going to do something, maybe I can do this. You have to use WH question, you have to use did, and the infinitive of the verb, okay? Okay. There yes. you go. The infinitive of the verb is after the subject, okay? Okay. For example, if I am talking about you or I'm asking you, then I'm going to use you. If I am asking about Rosa, then I'm going to write Rosa or say Rosa, right? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think only oh, this one. Are you sure? Okay. Okay, uh, you have to practice, you know, there are lots of ways to practice. You may watch movies, you may also listen to music and English uh, to practice your listening. And at the same time, you can imitate what they say. For example, if you learn a song, if you memorize a song, then you are going to practice the same and when you are speaking in the normal way then you use that vocabulary that you heard on the song okay okay teacher. que no le de miedo imitar okay don't be afraid of imitate don't be afraid no le de miedo usted okay. usted lo oye así así dígalo okay if you hear that someone said something then you imitate okay Esa es la manera en que le va a ayudar para que se le vaya memorizando más. To add more things to your vocabulary, okay? To extend your vocabulary. Correct? Okay, yes. okay Thank you. then. Thank you uh, for your thing. <laughs> no problem. I'm glad to give you this assessment. And if you have more Questions, you can send me a text message or in the class, you can tell me at the beginning of the class, hey teacher, I had problem with this or this or this topic. Can you help me please? Then I'm gonna do it, okay? I'm okay. able to Thank do you. it. <laughs> so, okay, then Thank have you. a good night, Rosa. Good night, teacher. Okay, bye-bye then. Bye-bye. Good blessing. God bless you too. Thank you.